My name is Vince. My name is Morgan, and this is our bus conversion. It's a 2008 Thomas Safety Liner, and we want to show you around the inside. So right when you walk into the bus, you enter into our living room dining room kitchen area. You'll notice right away our couch and our dinette actually features a lot of storage, which we really prioritized in our tiny living space. So all of the curtains in the bus were made by Vince's Florida mom, Judy, who was kind enough to take on that project for us. It was a little tricky with some of the different windows throughout the bus and my mom took the time to make a custom dog bed to go over the engine cover for us as well. That was some dead space in the bus and it was nice to give the dogs an extra spot to chill out since they're both pretty big and they take up a lot of space. They seem to enjoy it because they can sit up there and look out the front window to see what's going on. The couch does also pull out and extend over to the dinette to create an extra bed for our guests when we have visitors. After the dining room area, you will enter into our kitchen. So this is our kitchen space where we cook and prep all of our meals, complete with propane stove and propane oven. We also had to throw in a magnetic spice rack because it's a tiny living space and that's essential. One of my favorite touches in our tiny kitchen is our little home sign, which one of our friends made for us custom. I think the coolest thing about it is the little bus that's the O in home is actually replaceable. This is our retro fridge, plenty of storage space. Um, for food, it's a little empty now because we were just on the move. We also have some storage space above it. I think one of the best things about our bus conversion is our separate workspaces. So this is actually my workspace and my creative space on the weekends. And then we also have our wood map of the United States, which we hope to be marking as we travel the country. So we did add a few things to the outside of the bus that I think are really going to help us along the way. We added a spigot to the outside, that's just so we can wash our feet off. If we go to the beach, if the dogs play in the river, then we can get them clean before they go back inside. We also added some storage compartments to the outside of the bus. These are really helpful because we've just got things that we don't really want to keep in the bus. So we've got a few tools here, and then over here we've got Morgan's Christmas decorations. So a lot of odds and ends things in here, and it's just stuff that you don't want to see out in the bus. This back storage box houses our gray tank and it's got hoses in it, pretty much all the plumbing stuff, so not super interesting there. This area was supposed to be our third storage box, but I ended up building it out and so it's a platform for the propane and then the uh, compressor unit for our split unit air conditioner inside. We also added a few items to the top of the bus and we had to put in an RV ladder to make sure that we could access it on the road. We added two skylights to the roof, we added a fan to the roof, we also added 1600 watts of solar and then we've got a deck that originally was going to act as a rooftop deck but we didn't really like the feel of it. Also we needed some more solar so we wanted to have a place to mount it so we ended up using the deck to mount the solar panels. So now I'm going to show you our bathroom. So we do have these two pocket doors, one on each side of the bathroom for privacy, and it also separates out our workspaces really nicely. They do latch open so that they're not banging around while we're on the road. On this side, we have our composting toilet and some of my favorite homey little details, some fake plants that I can keep alive. On this side, we have our nice tile shower. pass with me through here into our bedroom. You will see our nice mountain mural, which 
was one of my favorite projects. I only cried on it about three times as I was trying to get that one done, but it's one of my favorite touches in our bedroom. We also have a couple leather storage pockets. We started out with some wood pockets and learned those were taking up too much space, so these seemed like a good alternative. And lots of storage drawers and our two big closets, which I was an advocate for during the bus build. And in the back is our second workspace, um, Vince's office, which I'll turn it over to him to show you around. So this is the back office and this is the workspace that I use pretty much every day. I've got plenty of space here to make sure that I can edit as well as do my full-time job during the day. I've got some books up on the shelves here with some decorations and it's completely impractical because they fall down every time we go down the road. Uh, we've got some bungee cords that we put in front of them but they haven't held them yet so we're still working all the kinks out with bus life and, and moving from place to place. But I like to have them up there because it gives a little bit of personality to the room and it makes it feel just a little bit more like a home office. Underneath the desktop here we've got a little bit of storage over to the left. Over here to the right there's a compartment and that houses the entire electrical system so we've got the solar charge controller in there along with the inverter and some other items just to make sure that we can be off-grid. And then down here underneath the bed, we have a spot that originally was meant for a washer and dryer combo unit, but it's actually turned into a really good doghouse and Lou and Piper love it. So we've opted not to get a washer and dryer unit right now, but instead we're just letting the dog sleep there for now. So that's our bus, we hope you liked it, and now we're just excited to see where it takes us. Remember if you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and a comment below. Feel free to share the video so everyone can see it, and as always, thank you for watching.